Welcome back. First things first. Someone commented that I had to ground my Arduino to the motor controller card. Of course I do, and I had forgotten in the <laughs> in the last video. So I hooked up the ground. The pump is working. I picked up the cheapest uh, sous vide cooker I could find after work today. Tested the hardness of the worn out piston ring. It's between 40 and 45 Rockwell. Let's see how hard we can get that uh, nickel. So I'm gonna set up a plating bath here and uh, see how it goes. The water bath is set up. I'm going to mix in 250 milliliters of this uh, nickel star, which is just uh, nickel salt. I think it's uh, sulfate, nickel sulfate in water. And then add in uh, about 20 milliliters of this reducing agent. It is what makes this reaction happen without electricity. The nickel salt will be reduced to nickel metal on the surface of that iron piece. If you've been watching for a long time, you might notice my table is my inertia dyno that I've built. I'm also going to build a, a load dyno, load cell dyno. Got ports for it here. That's coming up. I will need a load dyno, a brake dyno for, um, for adjusting my new engine, because that's meant to be run under constant load and that's not easy to do on an inertia dyno so yeah dyno build coming up and i think i'm going to use a powder brake a uh, magnetic powder brake seems like a really neat solution without much like with few parts yeah we're almost up to temperature so now I'm going to put on some uh, protective gear, start my, uh, my exhaust fan and mix up some chemicals. And uh, nickel salt is, is uh, not really healthy for you, so don't breathe that stuff. What I'm going to do is mix up the chemicals and uh, place my ring after rinsing in acetone. I've washed it and now I will rinse it in acetone and uh, then rinse it with distilled water. I'll put some ice and water in this cup, which I will put on top of the beaker. And that's to condense the vapor, so it doesn't just fly away. Ideally, I should have had this uh, condenser column instead, but I um, haven't got one. Okay, let's get started. We're up to temperature now. I'll do a 30 minute plating this time, just to see how it works. Like to get, I think it will put on about 10 to 15 microns an hour. That might be enough, but uh, thicker might be better. 
So half an hour, five, five, seven microns, something like that. Enough to do some testing. Give it half an hour or so and uh, try to answer as many messages and comments as possible in that time. Electroless nickel seems to be a success. I'm registering between 55 and 60 on the Rockwell scale and that's before heat treating, hardening, with a heat treat an hour at 400 degrees Celsius. That should give us almost 65, maybe higher. Between 55 and 60 that might actually be, that's much better than before and uh, might actually be enough. So maybe just electroless nickel without heat treat is uh, good enough. I can't see a reason why I shouldn't do this to the current ring. I can't measure it with my tools, but with how this process works, the thickness should be completely even all over this ring now. Hmm. Cool. By the way, I just heard from uh, Mark Atkinson and he um, sent me some pictures of some material and he's working on... Um, I think he started working on the new piston ring. Piston, piston ring combo. So this is kind of redundant. But anyways, might uh, prolong my testing with this ring. If only those O-rings could show up. Last time I checked, the tracking was gone. Something has happened in the mail, like it often does. See you next time.